let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. Uh, skip the camel beige romp. <laughs> uh, let's see, what do we got, got going on here? We've got khaki, and we've got beige, and we've got tan. Um, those all seem similar to me. What would be the last word there, though? Honestly, not seeing it. Okay, so maybe not that, or maybe I'm just missing the word, but either way, I can't lock it in. Um, are we cutting the cheese? <laughs> All right. Sweep is interesting. A sweep and a blowout, just winning something very, very successfully. <laughs> what else? A romp, I guess, could mean that. What else could mean that? A route. Okay, I think that's got to be it. That's blue. Okay, <laughs> I'll take it. Decisive victory. That's what I said. All right, what else do we have going on here? We've got a hamster. A uh, hamster dance? <laughs> hmm. Okay, to ditch something is to skip it, right? You're like, you're ditching the party, you're skipping the party. I mean, ditching means to leave early, but you could also ditch someone and, and to skip. Yeah, I think these are similar enough that they could be the same category. Maybe miss, like you're missing it. Uh, you could be cutting it, maybe. I don't know if cut makes sense. Uh, nothing else makes sense, though. Let's hamster this party. <laughs> All right, I'm thinking cut. Let's see if that's right. It is. Fail to attend. All right. All right. Fine. I'm not going to argue that because <laughs> I got it, but it seems, seems like maybe those don't mean exactly that, but that's okay. Um, I mean, we still have, do we still have khaki, beige, and tan? Is it camel? Camels are kind of that color. But like what cheese, prey, or hamster color is, is wild. Um, I'm going to try these four, I think, because I think it makes sense that they're all similar colors. All right, let's give it a try. Yellow, brown shades. Okay. So prayer, hamster, cheese, color. I mean... I got, uh, I have a decisive victory here, but to make it truly decisive, like a real blowout, romp, route, or sweep, I need to figure out what this purple is. <laughs> it's not dance. <laughs> I want it to be hamster dance, but it's not. Yeah, are we finally on unrelated category? Because <laughs> if there was, if there were any four words that felt unrelated to me, it would be prayer, hamster, cheese, and color. I'm going to focus on hamster because like, well, what, it's got to be the animal, right? Is it, it could be one of those weird play on words though, where it doesn't, you know, they're just using the ham part, but there's not something similar for the other words. Ham and cheese sandwich. <laughs> um, I'm really not seeing a play on words. Words you can add S to to make them plural. <laughs> That's gotta be it. Um, is that or unrelated? Okay, well, I, I guess I don't get my uh, my blowout, my romp, my route, or my sweep because I don't I can't figure out this purple at all. Wheel. Okay, I get cheese wheel, color wheel. Okay, hamster wheel. What's a prayer wheel? I guess I'm not religious enough to know what a prayer wheel is. <laughs> um. Okay. Well, how'd you do? Let's do the MIDI crossword for Sunday, March 24th. Let's go. Stephen A. Smith's channel. I, I don't know. Las Vegas through affair with the, the strip. Valuable substance in the world of Dune. Spice. Fashion designer Mark. I don't know. High schooler. Don't know. Whirl of water, like swirl, swir no, it's four letters. Okay, let's go down. Suffix with priest or count. Suffix with priest or count. I don't know. Neighboring city of Tampa informally. What? Put a cost on. Value, uh... Okay, scratched or a coin with small change. Oh no, <laughs> I don't know any of these. Garden flower or a coin with small change, what? 
garden flower um pe i can't can't think what flower that would be okay let's start over i don't know what channel this would be this is going to be a problem because i also don't know one down suffix with priest or count ss really did i are these even right i mean the strip is certainly right i thought spice was the valuable substance in dune I have not read or seen the movie, though, so I just know that from pop culture. Uh, neighbor, neighboring city of Tampa informally. What's a neighboring city of Tampa? In Florida. Apparently, I just need to memorize Florida cities better, because they're, they're showing up in these a lot. Put a cost on. Scratched or a coin with a small change? I, I don't know how I'm going to do this one. I don't know the fashion designer, Mark. High schooler is way too generic. Teen? I don't know. I'm just guessing four-letter words that might be a high schooler. Whirl of water. I think I can't, can only think of like swirl or or. I don't know. Four letters. What are these circles doing? Usually, it's related to some kind of like related thing, but I don't I don't see like a where it's saying what that means. Is it not spice? Okay, I'm going to check what I have so far, even though it's not much. I mean, what I have so far is correct. I, I didn't think it was wrong. Um, but like three minutes in, I got two words. A coin with a small change. Okay, so are we thinking like penny, but we've like changed one of the letters? So then scratched would be like nickel, nicked, I guess. Maybe nicked. And then penny... What's the what's the garden flower that sounds like penny? I thought it was like pansy. But this is definitely an E. Okay, maybe I can get these now. Is this actually just teen? And I'm guessing this is a Y then. A whirl of water? Eddie, maybe? Okay, that actually helped thinking about the coins. What what's going on with this though? Neighboring city of Tampa informally. St. Pete, maybe? I'm just guessing. Uh, put a cost on. I don't know. What's this one? Fashion designer Mark. Oh, it's a name. See, I don't know what, what this letter is going to be because it's not Penny, right? How about this one? Stephen A. Smith's channel. Is it ESPN? And then priced. And then Mark. Is it Peony? Like with an A? Almost there. All right, I'm going to check what I've got. It's probably just that last letter, though. Yeah, it is just this last letter. Uh, an I, then? No. <laughs> okay. I'll try all the... E A, E, I, O. Oh, I got it. Echo and P... Oh, P and E is spelled with an O. Okay. Today I learned. Uh, that, was, that was a very poor performance. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> How'd you do? Let's do strands for March 24th. Today's theme is locksteps. Hmm. Got apple. Nope. Worth a try? Let's try our corner strategy. This W feels like a good option. Is it a WR word? I'm not really seeing a WR word. Mm, yeah. W E? Or it could we end in W? Hmm. There's tower. No. I'm not sure what lock steps would, would refer to. There's a Z here. Maybe the Z is helpful. I mean, we've got maze. Probably too short. <laughs> or mazes. I mean, lock steps is plural. Does that mean all of our uh, words are plural? I don't know. Hmm. Probably not. I'm really not seeing a word that to use this Z with. Lock steps. But wrote. Leery. I was thinking about towering, but there's no G here. So we're just towering. Is there anything along the border? I'm looking. Pleto. Two P's here. Pear. Locksteps. The Locksteps monster. Tree fitty. Um, look at this I H I, like T I H I T I. <laughs> We've got T-I-O-N in two different ways. We've even got A-T-I-O-N-S. 
expectations. Um, what would what would start that? I'm not seeing it. Nothing from Asians. Lime. <laughs> Trying to find longer words, but it can be difficult. Crate. Or just rate. What's our break in here? We've got APPY. Don't see how to do anything with that. Is there something with this corner that's useful? Pair. My corner strategy is not very good on this one. It doesn't seem like. ST maybe? This Z. I feel like this Z is the way to go. What are we doing with the Z? I'm not seeing it. We've got lion. Okay, lock steps. Steps like walking? Like stairs? But what would the lock mean? You can walk in lockstep, like two things that are going together. I'm not really seeing how any of that applies here. Lots of ends here. Look at all these ends. Rear. So it's hard to get into the puzzle. Once I get a word, it's usually better. Not always, but it can help a lot. Pleat. I'm just not understanding the lockstep's theme, so it's hard for me to think what word would work that way. I still like A-T-I-O-N-S. Like, is that our spanogram? I'm trying to see how, how we would end in Asians. Like recreations or machinations. <laughs> I don't know. So many words end in Asians. Like, I don't know what to start with, but I also don't see anything that works. Imaginations. Could be coincidence. Well, it actually can't do this because it isolates the E. Was I drawing it? I, I don't know. Maybe I just noticed that. If it was Asian, we, we wouldn't isolate the E, but we'd need to use it. We'd need to do something like using these letters. We could skip the N, of course. That doesn't look good, though. We've got lose. Come on. Lose. Nope. Got micro. Micron. Like keys. Pins. Like I'm thinking about what makes up a lock. The shaft. <laughs> uh, the shackle. I don't think it's that. Teary. Crate. No, already found. Crater. Lock steps. Multiple. The steps for locking. Tases. Haze. Hazes. Seat. Peel. I need longer words. There's only seven words. Okay. What are we starting with for our spanogram? It's, it's so hard without any other words placed. I've got apply. Ooh, apply. Okay. Okay, what does apply help with? Um, lock steps, apply. What are we doing over here? There? No. Hater. <laughs> Heat. Heater? Okay, so like, are these like verbs? Verbs you might find in step by step instructions? So like, you're applying, you're building, you're. Drilling, screwing, I don't see screw over here, hammering, I don't know, like things like that? I don't know what that has to do with lock though. Building around here will be help, like, is usually useful because we, we've, we've narrowed down what these can, like this T is a new corner, right? This R is a new corner. Narrow down what they can go with. I like ER as a concept. Later. It's not a verb. Admire. <clears throat> Admirer. Okay. Admin. Z. I don't know what the Z is doing. We ending in like Z-E? I don't see how. Like haze, right? How about up here? Create. Creator. That, that isolates ow. O-W. Um, also creators with an O. So it would be like this, which would isolate the W. Rotate? I don't actually see how we'd make rotate. Okay. 
What's going on here? I guess I'm still not getting it. Nose. I really feel like it's I, it, finding one more word over here would be very helpful. That's what I feel like. Hits. Crime. Lathe? Or a lather? Oh, is it hair washing steps? Where's rinse? Where's repeat? Um, lock as in hair. Ooh, what are what are hair washing steps? Um, uh, wet. It's too short. It's got to be rinse though, right? Let's look at all. Yeah, here's rinse just across the top. I I looked there too, and I couldn't find a word. Um, it's weird how that happens. Lather, rinse, repeat. Where's my P? Is there a P on the grid? There is no P. Oh, we've used both. Of them. So it's not repeat. Lather, rinse, apply. I don't know, curl or something. Got to tame those locks. <laughs> Could it still end in T-I-O-N something? Oh, no. Color? Can we color the hair? Are there are really seven steps to hair. I mean, not for me, but... Uh, <laughs> This W is alone. It's going W E or W O, or obviously it could it could go around the corner. We could. Is there just shower or something? What's our spanogram? It either uses this W, or we go left to right. Hair. Hair care. Hair care. Hair care. Okay, that's that's our spanogram. So we've now split ourselves in half. Uh, moist, moisturize, moisturize. Okay. Wotel, towel. T -t -t come on, towel. And one more word using all these letters. Condition. I was right about the I O N. All right. <sighs> Took me too long to, to realize Locke was referring to hair. And apply didn't help that much. But yeah, lather. Okay, cool. Well, how'd you do?